Good morning, beautiful souls. It's Dr. Danny, physician, astrologer. Today's a Jeep chat, but this Jeep chat's a little bit different. I am coming home this time in the morning. Yes. So here you can see the sun quickly approaching uh, and or rising. So I might be a little stupid because uh, you know when you when you work 24 hours, by the time you're done, uh, you maybe have had some sleep. I I got about three hours last night, so I feel okay. I feel okay. I got to deliver a set of twins before I left, which was fun. Um, but today I want to talk to y'all about cholesterol and statins and heart disease and I I want but it's not what you think so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about atherosclerotic disease and plaques and get your cholesterol checked and get statins I'm actually going to do the opposite um, I have been studying medicine let's see I went I got into medical I was accepted to medical school in 2003 so 21 years and you know before that you're pre-med you're kind of soaking up everything you can that they'll give you so and I've been on this journey since 2001 in fact my first semester back at school to get the prereqs was in 2001 and it was September 11 2001 I remember that day very clearly I had just started my pre-meds and I was super excited and then the world starts blowing up at any rate um, and we, when we get into med school, we're taught the range of normal for certain laboratory values. That's what they, they tell us. So when we get to the pathology of <clears throat> the vessels and the heart, they, they give us the sort of current and most popular theories as to why certain diseases happen. It's called um, epidemiology, <clears throat> um, like where it comes from it's called the deep six I can't remember what it stands for but basically for every disease process you, you understand this um, and so for the laboratory values for cholesterol I distinctly remember that the normal value for low density lipoproteins LDL your bad cholesterol uh, as long as it was under 150 you were good <clears throat> do you know what it is today they want you to have it under 70. What? Okay. Now, now you might think that's a good thing because the current paradigm is cholesterol is bad. It causes clogs in your arteries. It causes your arteries to constrict. Then you get heart attacks, strokes, blood clots, all these horrible things. When in fact, cholesterol is actually good for you. Um, if you, cholesterol is the base uh, molecule for all of your hormones or all of your uh, lipodensity or all of your fat soluble hormones so like estrogen uh, testosterone progesterone cortisol like all of these hormones start from the ringed structure of a cholesterol molecule so what happens if you don't have enough cholesterol you don't make enough hormones what happens to you you get thyroid disorder you get diabetes because you don't have the hormones to clear up the excess sugar. So that's one thing I just want you to keep in the back of your mind. The second thing is, is what actually is cardiovascular disease? Is it because of fats? Is it because of uh, our diet? Maybe, but not in the way you think. So let's say you, you inundate your body with sugar or processed foods or prepackaged foods. Don't get me wrong, we gotta do it once in a while, like if we're traveling or on the road or if we're in a pinch when you really need to eat something. But like for the most part, if, if you're conscious about what you're eating and you're picking healthy choices, those people tend to have a better hormone balance, healthier weight, a better uh, appetite slash hunger uh, energy that isn't out of balance. Whereas people that are eating these processed foods, these sugary foods, these foods without any like nutrients they 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 act as if they're starved their body is in a state of inflammation so what does the body do when it's inflamed well it it creates plaques in your arteries like so people that have heart disease are in an inflamed state but it's not because they're 
eating fats. It's because <laughs> they're eating the fake butter, the fake oil, and uh, the fake fats. The stuff that comes from our produce and our agriculture when we were natural uh, farmers. But these, these corporate farms, they take over and they, they basically breed all the nutrients out of everything. And then we eat it in our bodies in a state of inflammation. So, okay, so now we know about low density lipoproteins, what the normal range might actually be. Now we know that cholesterol might actually be really, really good for us. Now we know that there's a certain diet that adds fuel to the fire of not having enough uh, cholesterol and hormones. So then what do they do? <laughs> Pharmaceutical companies have had the ability to go into our national laboratory standards with the data that they have on atherosclerosis and change the values of normal. So then they teach all these young medical students and it's not their fault, they're, they're just doing what they're taught. I mean, isn't that what you do when you trust your teacher? You do what they teach you to do. Um, you know, but I was a thinker before I was a, a, a doctor and I still think when I doctor and I still think when I give out medications and I look at laboratory values. So at any rate, we're treating this artificially uh, out of range value for LDL with a drug called a statin. Now I won't bore you with the mechanism of action of statins, but statins are actually quite bad for you, especially women. So if you are getting blood work at an internal medicine, family medicine doctor with your PA or nurse practitioner and they're telling you that a cholesterol that is 130 LDL, your bad cholesterol, if they're telling you that that is abnormally high and writing you a statin, I want you to listen to this again. Rewind, listen to what I said because Statins can cause diabetes. Statin can cause uh, muscle cramping and all kinds of other problems. So you want to be really careful. And and how 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 can this happen, right? Well, so these pharmaceutical companies make these blockbuster drugs that maybe have some therapeutic effect, when in fact the side effects are hidden, and then they over prescribe it, and also educate, make the uh, schools educate their students to this pathology. And if you guys think I'm crazy, let me give you another story. So when I was, uh, let's see, it was 1999, 2000. It was 90, 98, 99. I worked for a company called GlaxoSmithKline. They're not around anymore. Uh, but they, they created the drug uh, Wellbutrin and Zyban, which are actually the same drug but they just give them different names and market them to different people. Um, I didn't, I wasn't in the uh, pharmaceutical or chemical part of it, but I was in a group that investigated other pharmaceutical companies. So it was really, really interesting. And this place was great. It had a campus, it had Tai Chi yoga and shit on Fridays. I was in the Christmas choir. I mean, this place had so much money. And we actually had a town hall one Friday afternoon. And in that town hall, the, one of the big wigs of the company, because the company was based in England, came and talked to us all. And he described the whole process of creating a drug for a certain disease. And he even said, we're to the point now where we actually have to invent diseases in order to develop therapeutics in a way that would be profitable for the pharmaceutical companies. I shit you not, I should have been reporting it. So y'all, I would really appreciate it if y'all would stop trash talking doctors. I mean, for the most part, we're just normal people trying to get through the day, trying to help you. Are there some dumb ones? Yeah. Are there some ignorant ones? Yeah. Are there ones who follow the rules just like any job, you know? But I, I think that being a doctor is quite an honor and a privilege. It took a lot of work and a lot of study to get here. Uh, to develop the solemn trust of thousands of patients to be a part of their lives. It's, it's a big deal, you know? So 
I'm just trying to give you guys some information on cholesterol and statins. Beware of taking statins. I'm not saying don't take them, but if, if you get an intuitive hit based on this and this information resonates with you, I strongly encourage you to research it. The data is out there. I can even point you in the right direction if you uh, need help with that. Um, let's see. Let me know if you like the Jeep chats. Just give me a thumbs up. Say hello. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that y'all would like me to talk about as I am rolling around, let me know because there are so many topics. I mean, I want to talk about the placebo. I want to talk about the nocebo. I want to talk about um, unplanned pregnancies. We're going to get into it. There's a lot of things that um, I've been exposed to over my long career in clinical medicine. And I want to share that with you because we're all here in this together. Um, just on a personal note, you guys, some of you who um, maybe saw me through Archaics, you're gonna be proud of me. I, I did listen to um, some flat earth material just to kind of take it in and see what they're all about. Not to dismiss them, just wanna keep my mind open. And uh, you know, they do a pretty good job. They're actually doing a better job than I thought they would to sort of get you to keep your mind open and think about it. And so I'm pondering that. I'm not saying anything, um, you know, I am I, I am a trained scientist as well. And so I, I like to see what's in front of me. And so I can, when I, when I see those curvature issues, that's what really makes me scratch my head. Um, you know, so I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna think about it, but at any rate, I am home and I get the next few days off, which is one of the perks of being a shift worker. I get to spend a few days uh, creating some content for you guys. We're gonna be live and just looking at the stars and figuring out what the hell's going on. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. I love y'all, namaste.